everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about this product right here. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. For some strange reason I keep struggling to get that out and I'm not trying it again because I'm clearly just stumbling over my words today. But this has been all over my TikTok feed and I felt as though it was telling me to review it. Now I do use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I go between that and the Revolution and the L'Oreal one. It just depends what one I need and at, at what stage. And sometimes the colours do differ slightly. But this pen is basically for creating hair strokes. And I thought, do you know what? I'm always needing something really quick to grab and just brush through my brows sometimes when I haven't tinted my eyebrows or when I've brushed them and maybe I've set a hair in the wrong place. I can then use this pen to just fill that in with a few hair strokes so I thought you know what give it a purchase let's see what it's like because I do like quickness and that is the aim of my life so if you'd like to see how this applies and what I think of it do please stay tuned don't forget to comment like subscribe I will be doing updates on my TikTok maybe quick ones once I've used up a whole product I will throw it up and say do you know what this is what I think of it after using the product fully that's what I do over on my TikTok. I do try and keep up to date more on there. I know there is shorts on here, but I just don't like them. They don't, no one seems to see my shorts, so I would rather go and do it on TikTok where people will see it more and see the review better. And this is just a different vibe. YouTube is just a different vibe. It's more chill. It's more like, I feel on TikTok, you're like, blah, 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 with words. Whereas on YouTube, you can be a bit more, explain it more for, thoroughly. Thoroughly, I was going to say thoroughly. Yeah, I can't get my words out. Let's just get into the video. So this is the brow pen. I'm going to show you it on here like that. So it's a proper pen. It's basically an actual pen. It's got a nib. This is in dark brown. It basically is for creating hair strokes. Now, when you give it a good shake, it's got a little ball in there, which is to help move around the, we'll call it ink for the purpose of this video, but the product within the tube. This is to move it all around. Give it a good shake before you use anything like this. When I first got it, I did put some lines on the back of my hand because I got this on an, a bit of an impulse buy, but also not an impulse buy. I was meaning to buy it and I was going to Vegas and... I hadn't tinted my eyebrows when I purchased it and my eyebrows were in dire straits. So when I was brushing my brows through it, me got to be glue brow gel. I noticed that there was like a little gaps in my brows and it was really annoying me. So obviously I was filling them in with my brow pomades, but when I tinted my eyebrows, those gaps weren't there anymore. Like it must have just been really fair hair and I didn't really need the product for Vegas, but I took it anyway. I was going to review it when I was out there, but I was too drunk most of the time. I'm not going to lie. Like... If anyone's been to Vegas and anyone's vlogged Vegas or anyone's done influencer moments in Vegas, I want to know how. Where do you find the time and how do you do it? Because I'm not that girl on holiday. I'm really, really not. I do try, but I just, I can never do it. But I didn't end up using it, so that's why this is the first time I've ever actually used it. When I put it on the back of my hand, I'd done it to see how long it lasted. And it was very, very long word. And so... I will be honest, it was on the back of my hand for longer than 24 hours. I got my puff ball and I scrubbed it and there was still faint lines on my hand. So I thought if I have to use it in a pool party, that is not going to fade or melt or mush into anything else. It's going to stay as hair strokes. So with that being said, we're going to get into using it. But first, I'm going to wipe my eyebrows. So the reason why I do this is if I have cream in my eyebrows... My eyebrows just never seem to stay up or stay the same. Once there's cream in them, like, I don't know. I don't know what happens. So I have to lightly just give them a light little rub to get rid of any anything that's sitting on top of the hair because otherwise it just doesn't work for me. So I'm just going to brush my brows through first without anything on them. And then I'm going to go in with the Got To Be Glue Brow Gel. I'll speed this up for you because that is not what we are reviewing today. So just use the Got To Be Glue Brow Gel to brush these in place. As I said, I'm not going to bore you all because I'm not going to be only brushing them in place. And I always have done this eye off camera. But that's it. That's basically what I would normally leave my eyebrows as because I'm pretty happy with them when the tint is and they're done like this. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to... You can see here on my eyebrows, they're not perfect in this region. This one sits like slightly higher looking because this bit's a little bit emptier than here. But then this bit here is a little bit emptier than here. So I do have moments where I need to, you know, even them out. But day to day, I don't really care about that. The sisters, they're not twins. But that is that basically done. 
all brushed into place and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let them set. I'm not gonna go in with the pen for about five or six minutes just so that they fully set in place and the pen doesn't get any of the, the wet brow gel on it. So giving it a good shake, I am just gonna go in and I'm gonna create a few hairs over here um, and maybe one in there, so let's go. It's kind of tickly, I don't know why. It's tickling me a little bit. They seem a little bit thick when I'm putting them on, so I'm just gonna get my nail and just lightly like soften them a little bit. I think it's just a little bit of getting used to sort of thing with the pen. So. Definitely use as light of a stroke as you possibly can. Um, I think for me, obviously I've done my face for these videos already. For me, if I was to do this properly, I would not do my, I don't do my brows last, I do them first. So I think I'd be able to lean on my face a little bit more and really get that angle. But because I've already done my makeup, I feel as though I don't want to touch my face. So I'm just trying my hardest to rest me like finger on there. Okay, I'm getting a hang of it a little bit more now as I'm going. This, this is not it though, are you? I think if I was to get it again, I'd probably go one shade lighter to create the hairs. I got dark brown because that's the colour of my eyebrows when I tint them. But I think if I had no tint in my eyebrows, I definitely would have to go for a shade lighter. And I think that would create much better hair strokes. And if there was any stronger bit, you wouldn't notice it as much. Ah. I'm just going to try and get my spoolie. I've got a bit of brow gel still left, so if I knock it. Okay. No. See, this is a no. We're not having brows like that. That needs to go. So I'm going to take. Freaking hair here. So this is the lines it's created. I had a few issues on this one. This one did go on a little bit easier, but as you can see, there's some hairs there that are a little bit thicker than the others. And I think that's what I don't like about the product. Do I think it's good? Yes. Do I think it's amazing? No. And would I buy it again? No. In all honesty, I think it takes a little bit to get used to. Don't get me wrong, some people take to it like a duck to water. I'm not that person, clearly. I would rather use an angle brush and a brow pomade. It's just, it's consistent. I can get thin lines consistently using this because the whole brush is the same thickness. Whereas with the nib of this pen, it obviously goes thick to thin. So you're trying to get that, that brush stroke. But I feel as though when you're putting it on, it's creating a little bead and then dragging it. And I don't like that look. Some people might like that look, but I don't. So for me, this isn't the best product, but I do understand why people would like it. And I do get how people would maybe find this convenient if they take to it like a Dr. Water and if they can just get the knack of it. Don't get me wrong, did I get the knack of it eventually? Yeah, but I just don't wanna have to work too hard with my products. I do think it's really handy to have. Would I buy another one? No, but I also won't not use this. I will use this throughout 
its lifespan until it's gone and then I probably wouldn't buy another one I'd just rather buy the Anastasia Brow Pomade I just think it works so much better it's consistent it's versatile as well you want to color your brows in you can do that you want to create hair strokes you can do that you want to use it as an eyeliner you can do that it's just so much more consistent and I do think a pen like this for the money you may as well buy the brow pomade you're probably getting a lot more for your money in the in the size bracket I haven't got the box I don't know where the box has gone so I can't say what it is i think it's is that 0.5 mil 0.5 mil okay i will try and write the sizes down here of what the anastasia brow pomade is and what the pen is and the price differences but for me i just would rather have the brow pomade it's more versatile it it's just so much easier to use you can use it really liquidy if you really wanted to and create really long hair strokes or you can use it more creamy depends on what you want to do with it so yeah do i think this is worth the money i'm in the middle i'm gonna give that it. yes and no because it does do exactly what it says on the tin it's just that i'm not that fussed on it um and it does last it doesn't budge it's it's you know pretty much waterproof but it's just not for me. So I'm going to give this, for me personally, a six and a half out of ten. And yeah, hope you liked the video, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.